Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. A lot of clouds today and temperatures not doing much like we talked about yesterday. Only in the 40s today. 47, the official high today in Waco. We should be about 60 degrees or so, so a little bit short, that is for sure. And right now we are seeing mainly cloudy skies, a little light mix well to our north, but this has just been some very light rain across parts of central Texas. And it gives you in just a little bit closer over toward Mejia. Uh, there's Corsicana right along 45, seeing some very light rain tracking to the northeast. We still can't rule out a stray shower move through tonight. There even could be an ice pellet mixed in there. <laughs> that would be sleet, but I tell you, chances are under 20%. So not a big deal. Not everybody uh, will see it. Just wanted to let you know that there's a possibility, especially to our east. We're at 46 here in Waco. It's also 46 in Mejia. A little bit warmer down toward the Brazos Valley, where we've got 51 degrees in College Station. And the temperature in Comanche with clouds around right at 40 degrees. Our wind chill drops it to 37, so the wind hasn't been too bad. So our air temperature is about the same as our wind chill. Right now, the wind chill is 43 degrees up in the Hillsborough area, and you can see that we are looking at winds that are fairly light. They're kind of all over the place right now. We'll call it uh, variable winds, but I'll tell you, everybody reporting wind under 10 miles per hour at this time. Limpasas, you can see a little north wind around 8 miles per hour. So here's what I expect this evening. Our future cast at 7 o'clock. Skies will be mostly cloudy. And again, temperatures not really doing a whole lot. We're looking at about 46 degrees or so by midnight. And then overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, we may clear it out for just a little bit. So as we start the day tomorrow morning, remember those extra layers on the kids as they head out for school. We're looking at temperatures in the mid 30s to start the day on Friday with partly sunny skies. And that'll be the story again. I think the heavier cloud deck may be just off to our east as we hit Friday evening, though. Temperatures will be in the 50s, so we are getting warmer, and your Friday night looks pretty good. We're talking clear skies, but again, cold conditions start to move in. Overnight Friday into Saturday, temperatures dropping into the 30s here once again, and then throughout the day on Saturday, hardly a cloud around, mostly sunny skies with temperatures in the 60s. So that's the payoff, not only Saturday, but Sunday as well. Here's your forecast though for tonight. Mostly cloudy skies. Still can't rule out a passing sleet or rain shower. Again, 20% chance or less. 37 degrees will be the low temperature. And again, you can see what's going on with our map right now. We are looking at temperatures for the most part holding pretty steady. Those winds have been also uh, holding uh, pretty light. And that's going to be the story tonight. And I just wanted to reaffirm that the clouds that we're seeing on top of us right now really not going to do too much in the way of dropping any heavy rainfall. So 37 degrees to tonight's low temperature. And then tomorrow, partly sunny, it'll be warmer. 57 degrees to high. And take a look at this is Ray's Automotive 7 day forecast. We're going to warm it up just in time for the weekend. It's amazing how that works out. 66 on Saturday, 72 on Super Bowl Sunday. It's also Groundhog Day. That's what that is. It's uh, not a mouse, Adam. It's a uh, groundhog, 72. <laughs> Next week, we'll start off in the 60s and 70s, but it looks like a sharp front moves in overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. So you see a big drop. We go from 68 on Tuesday to 47. Whoa. That is it, yeah, on Wednesday. And then down toward the Brazos Valley. Again, a great looking weekend. Hit and miss rain, some cooler weather again overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. But even that cooler weather is not bad considering it's February, by February, the way. Yeah.